Diagnosing Stephen Fry. Summary of Behavior. Stephen Fry is a married 65-year-old man who is an actor, comedian, and broadcaster. He was only able to get about an eighth grade education due to being expelled for behavioral issues in school when he was 14 years old. History. Stephen has been suffering with depressive symptoms such as loneliness and guilt, and also experiencing manic symptoms such as aggressive outlashes, and in the past, lashing out in school towards teachers, starting again when he was 14 years old. He has worked with doctors and therapists since he was 14 for these symptoms, but along with his teachers, doctors and teachers were very dismissive of his issues summarizing them up as intentional disruptions in class. Stephen has a history of verbally abusive teachers due to their lack of understanding of his symptoms. Stephen has past attempts of his life and expresses suicidal ideations. Stephen has also been in juvenile prison for stealing credit cards. Stephen has a family history of alcohol abuse, and he himself has been abusing alcohol, cocaine, and cigarettes since he was about 14 years old. Stephen has been clean from cocaine for a couple of years and now only drinks alcohol occasionally and in moderation. Stephen does still smoke cigarettes and he smokes about half a pack a day and is slowly working towards his goal of quitting completely. Presenting problems. Stephen is seeking help for stressors relating to his career and suicidal thoughts. He's also coming for help with his inability to sleep and his tendencies towards aggression, often inexplicably towards his husband and himself. He often breaks walls and doors when entering fits of rages, hurting himself in the process. Stephen also expresses having an incredibly low sense of self-esteem. Goals of therapy. Stephen wishes to have a better understanding of his manic and depressive episodes to help keep them under control and not hurt himself or others around him as well as a better ways to deal with his episodes, both manic and depressive. DSM-5 Diagnosis, Bipolar 2. Stephen Fry told us that he had a previous diagnosis of bipolar disorder. And with his presenting issues in history, I can agree with this diagnosis completely. Per the DSM-5 diagnosis criteria for bipolar 2 disorder, Stephen must have at least four symptoms of mania for at least four consecutive days, which he does in the following symptoms. He has an inflated sense of self-confidence, has a difficult time sleeping due to racing thoughts, has, has feelings of euphoria for days and speaks really fast during these feelings. He also expresses feeling like a different person every day he wakes up. Stephen acts out aggressively as well, proclaiming them to be, quote, manic rages. In order to get the depressive episode diagnosis, he has to have at least five depressive symptoms for at least two weeks. His depressive symptoms are prolonged feelings of emptiness, sadness, loneliness, and unnecessary and misplaced guilt. He also expresses having suicidal thoughts and tendencies, having already had one attempt under his belt. Stephen leaves town and does not tell his loved ones where he is going, leaving them to be stressed and worried as to his safety and his whereabouts. Stephen expresses feelings of extreme low self-esteem and him and his family have expressed that he can go stretches of days without eating anything. 
theoretical perspective. The biological perspective view on dysfunction for bipolar 2 disorder that is mentioned in the textbook Abnormal Psychology states that people with bipolar disorder have low serotonin in their brains, but where the manic and depressive episodes are, are the norepinephrine ephrine receptors being either too active, leading to manic episodes, or under receptive, leading to depressive episodes. Treatment. Stephen is already taking lorazidone, also known as Latuda, which is an antipsychotic that has been found to be highly successful if continually taken for bipolar 2 disorder. Cognitive behavioral therapy would be used for helping Stephen gain a better understanding of his episodes and introduce better coping mechanisms to get symptoms under control. Having only medication or therapy will have a success rate of around 30%. Ronald C. Comer. So having a combination of both his medication and the cognitive behavioral therapy, there will be a high likelihood of success rate with treatment. With bipolar 2 disorder, there is also a likelihood that he might stop taking his medication due to unwanted side effects, wishing for the manic episodes, the feelings of euphoria to come back, and others. That is where the cognitive behavioral therapy will come in and advise him and help him understand that his continued taking of his medication is going to help him in the long run. Thank you.